So tonight we, in Clear's Tai Chi, we worked on the Wu Chi and really standing with the really correct Zhong Ding so that you've got that alignment in your body and that you've really got the central axis in you, that's Zhong Ding, really correct, really up and down, really soft with correct Wu Chi principles in terms of the relaxation, in terms of tongue on roof, the mouth behind the front teeth, in terms of head position, in terms of all the joints are ever so slightly bent and relaxed really soft and sung, and yet that structure is there. And the structure being equally as important, at least to a certain degree, as the sung. The difference is once your structure is set to a certain degree, um, your, all your corrections will be minor versus sung gets very, very deep and there's a lot more of it. And softer, 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 relaxed. You let the breath fill your whole body so that you want to be relaxed enough so that when you're breathing, it's as if your whole body is taking it in and out, even though you're not struggling or trying to exert to get it to do that. It's just that relaxed that your whole body is very comfortable breathing. And that when you're doing this with the correct Wu Chi, which we've got materials and, and videos and it's in a whole chapter in my book on that. Anyways, then when you um, feel bring your hands together. You don't have to make an energy ball. You'll feel that there's like an energetic quality there. And you can actually do it so that if you're building it enough that you can even put them up against the legs and you'll feel there's an energetic quality like you're making an energy ball except it's against your legs. And you want to build that so even if you're moving in the air with your set that that energy quality stays strong so that you don't have to use your other hand to measure against now. You can feel it yourself wherever you're at. Now that's just building the energy or the, the internal aspect of the, of the chi um, itself for health and, and your own stuff that way, health and, and all of that. Anyways, with this you can then begin to, when you're, when you're towards the front aspect of your body, you're doing this electrical kind of an energy, for, that's kind of how we tend to refer to that quality of it, and it's got a little bit of a repulsive quality. Now think about this as like a magnet, and the magnet stays here, it doesn't move away, and yet if I put another magnet in it in the right position, there's a repulsing action. If I flip this magnet around, there's a pulling action. But the magnet stayed the magnet. So it wasn't that the magnet was moving to do it, it was that what it's emanating off of it is like that. And so in the electrical quality of this, being forward, it's got that kind of an emanation. If I go the other way and sink back to my heels, this is assuming that your bubbling wells are open, right? And you're back behind them now, coming in, there's a pulling action in terms of the, the, the energy itself, your body itself, the vessel is, is still in the same place, but it's now the energy of it is a pulling energy, not a repulsing energy. So a little bit of a repulsing energy on the toes and out front and the way you would normally think of it and you feel that in the energy ball. The other one has, you'll feel like almost like the energy ball is gone if you're not used to it, but it really if you check it, you, what you'll find is it's just kind of sucking inward. And then there's the idea, and you see this in Wu style and in Wudong, where there's this rocking idea where they're, where they're making sure that the Wu Qi principles are all good and so that's what we're doing and that you are um, working those two different aspects, both the repulsing aspect or the, the positive outward and the negative or retracting, sucking in quality. Again, softness being the key thing. If you try to tense to make these things happen, it just shuts it off, it's no good. So from here, and then when you've worked it, there's, from here, if I'm pushing and you stay the same way every time, so if I'm pushing him like this versus if I'll do this this way and he's staying the same and I make sure that I'm in the Wu Qi and that I'm really relaxed and the Zhong Ding is good and the energy is flowing there and you touch him, it'll, ha it'll be that kind of a pronounced difference. And if I do that same thing of all the right structure and relaxation and all the stuff, but am rocking back to the heels, right? Because here it is without it. And I'm pulling him. And, and you can do this yourself at home um, if you work it a bit. And then obviously we've got a bunch more about that in the program. Thanks for watching.